I'm Nancy Lam. I'm going to help you students to cook something simple. Either you can use the meat or you can use it as a vegetarian. Please yourself. Let's go cooking! don't like garlic but I like garlic if you don't like garlic just cut in into it three times one two and three yeah and then you put it just put it in and fry it up just put one garlic if you got a coal put two garlic I imagine it's winter so we put two garlic shall we and then we got onions we got garlic we got red pepper, green pepper, and orange pepper. And we got our beef. And now, what we do before we do anything, we boil our pasta and leave it aside. Then we, we cook our beef and then we toss it in later. for five minutes I'll leave it in the pot and let it soften that's how I cook it if you want to cook according to the instruction you can let me bake it very hot first yeah you see it's boiling buzzling buzzling stir it and don't let it stick Let it cook for five minutes. And they say you let it cook for five minutes to get it out. What you call it Italian way? Get it nice, not too soft. If you if you like it quite soft, cook it a bit longer. If you don't like it quite soft, you just leave it in the water for a while and make sure it's uh, just keep it hot. And then now we can cook what we have to cook. And we shall cook some special. Let's put some corn flour, a dry spoon, corn flour, just a little bit of corn flour, so that the beef or the meat can be lovely. Okay. I shall cook now, let's get on, let's go, let's go. Where is my oil? Yes. Yeah, a bit of oil. The oil is to get the onions and the garlic going. And don't forget, all this is for your winter food as well. If you want to use it as winter food, then you use and give this a lovely flavor. I only put one garlic or two garlic cloves here and if you don't want to use them, you don't need to use them. If you want to use them, it's lovely. And now what you do is, you just take it off the pot because it's all nice and fragrant. And I have to wash my hands as you can see. And I got to season my beef with corn flour. When you season your beef with corn flour, you get a lovely texture on the beef. You can make beef bowl, you can make anything you want really. Press it in. I did 
do to make the beef taste good and firm with the meat instead of the meat go smashing. Push it and keep it a bang. If you can't hold your bow, you put your bow down and you put it down, press it, hit it, and don't break the bowl. Just give it a nice, nice way of cooking. And then what you can do, you can just make into meatball, put it in, make. When you, when you, you know how you want to eat, how many meatball in the day and how many meatball in the night. See? Four, five, or you can do that. Six, make it into a hollow. Don't press it, just make a hollow and go round. Whoa. Okay, and you see it changed color. Don't you don't need to use your fire too high because you, you got time. You you can if it's too high in case it burns, you say, Oh, Nancy teachers didn't tell us don't use it. You don't use the fire too high. Just use the fire how you like it. If you put it, it's not a a, a, a race thing. You 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 do comfortably. You are the one who's going to eat it. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Now we're going to put salt. Yes. Let the tomato together with the meatball to let it cook, and as it cook, it create flavor. And don't waste it. Add a bit of water, and then you can. Rinse it, and then that will be the proper sauce. Just keep trying. You can put some herbs if you like. If you've got any herbs you can want to put it in, you can. If you want it plain, you can. But put some pepper on it. Pepper is a good comfort. It's really good for you. Yeah? When we cook, we got to put back where we put where we take it from. Then your kitchen won't be messy. You see, I've been standing here, my vegetables here, and my meat with my sauce is here. Then what I have to do. I have to put this over here. Then, when when this sauce is ready, I'm going to toss my pasta over here. Okay. Now I'm going to put my vegetable in. You, when mushroom is a good value, you make sure you buy some mushroom and put in your pasta and you find the taste of different. Food is creation. You can create whatever you prefer. You don't need to worry about, oh, it's, uh, it's not nice. You create it. You make it nice. Won't you? I should have, uh, I think I have a bit of I see. I got this. You see, I get so excited when I want to show you what is fantastic. I really like it. And if you got any brown sugar, you can always sprinkle a bit of brown sugar. Let's find some brown sugar, shall we? Where is my sugar bowl? And, uh, ah! 
my sugar bowl is in my tea and coffee cupboards. Just a little bit because you don't use MSG or anything. Just a little bit. Half a teaspoon, that will do. Stir it. Taste it. Oh, edible. Delicious. Put it in. Get rid of it. Stir it. You can serve now and you can taste it and tell me how delicious it is and give me a thumb up. Thank you. Thank you for watching me. Thank you.